Hello and welcome to race number four in season three of the SCSO. We are here at Texas Motor Speedway for the O'Reilly Auto Parts 500. Uh, we're going to be running 51 laps of action, uh, a whole 10 laps more than we ran uh, Wednesday at Las Vegas, but uh, still should be a good one. Hopefully uh, everything turns out right. So Matt Oskin starts on the pole and Derek Hemmel, uh, well, right outside of him. Uh, we'll get these guys rolling off, and uh, we'll go through the top ten real quick, which I think I accidentally forgot to do last week. Madison Tall and Daisy Morgan, two uh, female drivers uh, starting side by side. Uh, we've got Ryan Madden and the 26 of Randy Mayhew. Uh, well, Ryan Madden rounding out the top five and six, Randy Mayhew. We've got Eric Monaco and Jonathan Gutierrez. And then rounding out the top 10, uh, we've got the 16 of David, Angelo Burnett, and Benny Watson. Actually, who's actually rounding out the top 10. <laughs> but uh, looking through the rest of the field here, you can see Tyless Holman starts fairly up close to the front. Same with Josephine O'Neill. Josephine O'Neill looking to have a, a rebound race here after winning the Big Tona 500, but uh, not doing too hot in the... Uh, Past two races, finishing almost uh, dead last. Actually, did finish dead last uh, at Las Vegas and uh, ended up wrecking at California. That's the correct race that I'm remembering. But uh, here we go. Green flag is out, and Samet Oskin is gonna take us there. Just like that, 24 car from Samet Oskin to the green. Hopefully. Uh, Looks like everyone is fine, and uh, this is uh, an updated version of the track. I'm... Oh, that's the other thing. So, uh, on Wednesday, I, I talked about how uh, we are getting higher, a uh, higher budget, thus uh, higher, or like new cars, new series, and all of that. Uh, the way, <laughs> I guess not the way, um... Something else that's new is we will be running, uh, at least for the Cup Series, on almost completely modern tracks, um, but only for the Cup Series. Uh, the lower series will be basically running these same tracks that we're running here. Um, this is more due because of the, the graphics of the ones that I'll be using, but... I'll find an explanation for it. Just, yeah. Because the budget... <laughs> uh, but, uh... I don't know. But, uh, yes, no, we will be getting updated uh, tracks that the Cup Series will be running on. The other three series will be running on the, uh... On, on basically the tracks that we are now. And it's Matt Austin finally getting pressure from someone. Did get a little pressure there, um from the 41 not too long ago, but uh, just couldn't get it done. And Derek Hamill, uh, Daisy Morgan not not going to be able to get a good enough run, and uh, Samantha Oskin a fantastic place at the moment. Uh, every lap led is, uh, well, definitely a, a good thing. More points towards the championship. Now, uh, we are going to have a playoff s uh, style format this season, and that, I believe that's how I'm actually going to run every series until, um, you know, I just don't anymore. Uh, unless things change in, like, real life, and uh, I could probably just do it, you know, by points. Which, if we're being honest, uh, out of, like, character, even if I there's not much character to break out of, but uh, um, when I get to my main series, I'm going to, um, it's going to be more of a, I, I'm going to do the thing that works best, so I might have like the, like the biggest series that I run in the playoff style format, uh, with the smaller ones being, like, it just depends on it depends on the series, because I know for a fact that not every series has the playoff style format, and it will be run on points. But things could change in every single series, depending on even if 
even if they have 10 races, could be run on playoff style. Um, it just depends on how the rules will be bent uh, or not. But uh, with 8 laps down now, or 7 laps down, no, yeah, 8, well, 7 laps down on the 8th lap, um, so Madhouse can still out front, no one's really been able to get a, a massive run on him, as uh, Derek Hamill uh, might try again here within the next couple of laps. If that were to happen, if he would be successful, uh, he'd definitely open up the door for a lot of guys to pass that 24 car. But uh, really, turn, turns 3 and 4 seem to be uh, Oshkin's strongest uh, spot. If he can make it back to that to those turns without uh, much uh, trouble, he he's basically he's basically gone. now. When getting past, see, it looks like Derek Hamill already getting a uh, getting pressure here from uh, Daisy Morgan, and I'm not sure if he's going to going to be able to maintain that position. Looks like he will. Uh, but Morgan definitely going to maintain that pressure on that 55 team. Uh, uh, yeah, Austin. Definitely like what he sees. If, uh, if they keep battling out, uh, that definitely help his case. Though this is again the longest race that we've run. Definitely an endurance race. Uh, probably there most likely actually will be longer races going forward. I uh, would not doubt it, but uh, we'll just have to see. I don't know that's true. I, 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 I kind of like having longer races in the series. Now, when we get to the main series, I'm not sure if I'm going to have each race be different lengths, so like I'll have the cup series be like the longest out of all of them, and like the second one be the second longest in the truck, be the third, um, obviously, and then uh, the fourth be like, obviously the fourth long, and then anything else I run after that, like, be the same length as the fourth, so I think the way I'll do is the fourth will be at the normal 10%, uh, which is the shortest amount of racing that I'm comfortable with. 5% is just too little. If you hear my hands from the back, I'm sorry. But, um, I know I'm not focusing too much on the ra racing. Now, we do not have a caution out, but will perish in the 11 car of Moses Bird have damage on them? I'm not sure what exactly happened there, but they are out of this race just like that. And Derek Hamill tried yet again with Morgan. Uh, I don't know why. The name just slipped my mind. Daisy Morgan. Failing uh, once again to take the lead away from Smet Oskin. Again, Warren, uh, not Warren Martinez. Madison Tall. Finding her way in the fourth position. And Ryan Madden. Sitting in a nice fifth. Rounding out the top five. Kind of that bridge between the rest of the field. And looks like Benny Watson able to find his way into th uh, eighth, eighth, ninth, battling for eighth. <laughs> oh man, I'm struggling. Looks like Gutierrez is gonna get uh, just get barely enough of a run uh, to get right on there. Hamill still battling out with this 24 for the lead. No one has been successful. And it looks like Moses Bird will find his way back out on the track. This could cause a caution. As uh, he's going to be quite slow entering the track. Here we go, Josephine O'Neill. Are they going to be able to get around him in time? Or, well, without causing any problems. It looks like they will. And uh, hopefully everything turns out okay. Uh, now, any damage as you see at the moment is just glitch damage except for on the 11. Which, uh... Uh-oh. That 48 of Dylan Abrahamian is going to be the only one to get stopped here. As uh, the 11 car not giving him much room. And that 2 car getting stuck for some reason. That's Ryan Durrani. Now it looks like Abrahamian will be able to get around the 11 car. And we might have a lot of traffic towards the end of this one. Derek Hamill. Pretty good run down on the inside coming, to, er, coming down the back stretch. Still there, I believe Oskin. He may have Oskin here. Oskin still ahead during the in the turn and uh, got a pretty good run through it, enough to uh, uh, allow him to take the lead or will maintain the lead. Daisy Morgan now trying 
yet again for that second position. That's kind of been the story of how this goes. Derek Hamill tries for the lead on the 24. Not really too successful. And then Daisy Morgan tries for second on Hamill. Again, not so successful. But uh, we could have a change for fourth. I was almost going to say third. As Ryan Madden getting a little aggressive here. Actually, we could have a change for third. That 41 car, this outside line has been fairly effective. And that's going to be what, uh... Well, that's going to be what works. Madison Tall taking third. If that 55 car can get it to the outside of the 24, definitely... Well, most likely going to take the lead. Daisy Morgan using... Er, looking like she might lose yet another position. Could not. The outside line, again... Proving to be where you want to be. If there is any better way to say that. Uh, Randy Mayhew finding his way into the top five now. Daisy Morgan still in, for, well, in fourth. Uh, Juan Martinez. Juan Martinez. Madison Tall. Juan Martinez in the 51. <laughs> uh, Madison Tall still in that third position there after taking it away from Daisy Morgan on the outside. Uh, really, you're not going to do too much. These guys being single file, they are still fairly close, but... I don't know, we're coming up on lap traffic fairly soon here. Our leaders, mind you, did not have to, uh... Well, they didn't have to run in and deal with uh, the 11 car here, but, uh... We'll see how this shakes up when they do inevitably reach him, which... I think they'll reach him within the lap. And another question, will there be two two pit stops this race? Um, generally, there's one. There was that case at California where we did take two stops, but uh, you never know. We could see two stops occur in this race, but uh, that will all depend. Uh, at the moment, looking like we might just go for one. Uh, is Derek Hamill going to try yet again? If he, could, uh, if he could use the 11 as a pick... <laughs> With the slightest amount of time there. Looks like Benny Watson going to be able to make it through. Tyrus Holman stuck in the outside. He might get stopped up here by the 11. He's going to make it through just barely. And contact. Logan York, Tyrus Holman. Everything will end up being okay. I want to hear of Tyler Mills getting stopped up and everyone else looking like they are stopped up as well. Brett Hill... Possible damage, not sure what's going on there. Uh, I think it was just a glitch. Caution could come out though. For uh, how slow this 11 car is. Especially here, three wide. Uh, I'm not sure how this is going to work. Carson Jefferson stuck holding up uh, Singletary and Noel Tucker. Not in that order, but uh, still. Damien Singletary getting stuck here. The last car on the lead lap. And so that Austin now. Not too much to worry about. Uh, pit stops. Pit stops definitely going to be uh, something that will affect this race. We'll have to see if Samet can, well, one, maintain the lead for long enough to really not have it affect him and win on the pole, but, uh, really, I, I'm not sure if that's going to happen. Because in the past couple of races, the leaders have come down and someone from behind them stays out, uh, and then pits a lap, two laps later, and maintains the lead till the end of the race, or at least someone uh, that has stayed out. So, yeah, uh, it seems to be the kind of like the strategy to, to... To not really, you know, make the first drive of pit stops. Um, now, obviously, if you're, if you're on caution, yeah, go for it. But I'm just not seeing the benefit of doing it, especially the last few races. Uh, though Texas is such a large track that, I mean, you never know. Because by the time that you take the lead and get around two laps, it, it's basically the same. Uh, 
because those leaders are already going to be back off and coming back on by the time you're back around to two, and if not, very close. Uh, so again, we'll have to see how this pitch strategy uh, plays out in the end. Oh, uh, speaking of new tracks, um, so this season we will not be uh, running at Charlotte at the Charlotte Oval. Uh, we will just be running at normal Charlotte uh, towards the end of the season. Next season, however, uh, we will. Um, again, this is due to uh, the graphical limitations uh, of this mod, which leaders are now coming down pit road. It, that was weird. Quite a few drivers stayed out. Randy Mayhew, uh, now the leader. Looks like Ryan Madden, uh, Benny Watson, Nathan Stapleton. We'll have to see how this works out. But, uh, yeah, now it looks like they're all coming in. Corey LaJoy gonna stay out. We'll see who's off first. So Matt Austin could be off first, but there's no way Corey LaJoy, everyone else, and we have an incident. I do not believe Caution is out, no, but there was a backup. Josh Torres damaged 34 of Trey Wright heavy damage to the front of that car. Damian Singletary looks like he's got damage. But I believe. Uh -oh. oh, man. That's 13 of Noel Tucker, who has heavy front side damage to that car. Front end damage. So that car in the 48 has just blown an engine. Again, no caution. Dylan Abrahamian, after getting stopped by lap traffic, basically. So Matt Oskin down pit road again. So I have no idea who our leader is. <laughs> the 11 is uh, definitely making up some ground and, uh oh. 48 causing kind of a backup. We'll see who our leader is after this round, but I don't know why these guys aren't getting back onto the track, and there we go. Benny Watson a little impatient for some reason. Tywis Holman hopefully doesn't make the same mistake as he's going to, I guess, try to get around Seth Shields. And what is happening? And Caution is now out. I'm going to assume for the 48 coming onto the track and stopping on the track for no reason. We're not going to replay it as no true incident from what I can tell really occurred. Heard and this glitch thing is kind of buggy. Um, yeah, I have no idea who. It says Logan York's the leader. We are going to have quite a bit of racing left uh, once we come back to green. Um, I'm just really confused right now. Trey Wright, um, heavy damage to the front end of that car. But, uh,. Yeah, no one that I expect to be out front. Yeah, I don't know why they keep going back down pit road. That's really dumb. Like extremely dumb, and, and, and a lot of them are a lot down for it. Um, fourteen or sorry, thirteen cars are on the lead lap, which I. I don't know if they're going to re-pit. I'm not sure what the point of pitting twice was. But, um... It's really unfortunate. The 78, I don't know if Madden is waiting for drivers to catch up. But, uh, yeah, same here with the 31. Brandon to make you. Make you might have any damage. At this point, I'm not sure who really has damage or not. Um, now there's nine drivers a lap down. What is happening? <laughs> Alright, sorry, uh, nine drivers on the lead lap. I'm genuinely confused. I guess we'll figure it out when we get back around. Uh, but apparently the 18 is not in second. And I th he does not have damage to the front end. That's Usman Hamid. 
Uh, actually, it looks like he does. I am genuinely confused right now as to what's happening. And why the 18 is... Okay, the 18 is a lap down now, so now we have 8 cars on the lead lap. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um... I hope everyone sorts themselves out. Uh, I'd rather not my lap. I'd rather not have my lapped cars right there. Um. Okay. Uh, but Logan York, at the moment, uh, sitting out front. Randy Mayhew in second. That's uh. That's Lauren Martinez in the 51, uh, sitting in third. And then Nathan Stapleton, kind of uh. Kind of weird. Two, three, and four. Or well, I guess three and four. Three, four, and five. Definitely reminiscent of last race. Um, huh. Because Jonathan Gutierrez rounds out the top five. And then Zachary Fitzwater Sr. Uh, looking to actually get a pretty good run. Not doing too hot in the points, I don't believe. Uh, and then Corey LeJoy. And the last driver on the lead lap. Hut Mayfield in the 15 car. Looks like we are about to go green again. And all of our lapped traffic will line up on the inside. That's insane. We're going to have a lot of cars. And actually, because of the nature of, like, the fact that they went down pit road multiple times for no reason at all is the main reason why this happened. Like, come on. You know, for as long as the last few races were, they... Honestly, they haven't, it's not long, if you know what I mean. The other races that had a lot shorter, uh, you know, lap, or a lot less laps, uh, much less racing, uh, I guess the cautions really pushed those out. I guess it doesn't help that I watch uh, the pace laps. But, um, Logan York in the best position to win this thing, he can use every single one of these lapped cars to his advantage. Only eight drivers on the lead lap. Here we go. Randy Mayhew, doing a pretty good run as well. Juan Martinez, Nathan Stapleton, looks like at least the first five drivers will get around the lap traffic. Here comes uh, Fitzwater. LaJoy might have a little trouble here down the back stretch. So at least the top six drivers could, were, were able to pull it off. As uh, Savannah Austin pull sitter for this race and, uh, oh. More drivers coming down pit road. For what reason? I'm pretty sure a lot of these guys have already, like, gone down pit road three times by this point. Um, that's one thing I hate. Or really dislike about some of this is the fact that they don't really sometimes it's kind of oh God, ridiculous. sometimes they don't I don't know the AI just screws up um, we could see our first pass on the inside here uh, it could be wrong looking like getting a pretty good run on the outside as uh, we're actually coming down to the last few laps of this one we do still have enough where it can make an impact. It really work. All he's got to do is hold on. In fact, the 26 led that last lap. Didn't realize it, but they tied, and they gave it to Mayhew. Randy Mayhew, to be, to be more precise. Uh, Brandon Mayhew in the 31, who is not on the lead lap. But, uh... Honestly, the way this goes, it's going to be tough to get around that 7 car, unless something happens. Another caution could come out and, and, and really affect this one. And here they are again down pit road. What is happening? They just continue to go laps down because of the AI. I, I, I don't understand it. Um, Logan York actually was passed by Ray Mayhew. And, well, here comes Lauren Martinez. This is the moment that they need to, to 
to try and, and, and get the lead. Lauren Martinez is not going to be able to lead this lap. However, Mayhew got a pretty good run uh, to the line. But, uh, that was, I don't know, the, the, the second half of this race is really bizarre. And I'm... He's coming down pit road again. Why? What is the reason? I only have it on two times. That's what it's been for every race, is two times. And look at this, a drag race to the line. Not the end of the race, but if it was, oh man. And who? Oh, we could have a caution. Moses Bird slowing down the 26 and the 7 there. Randy Mayhew, Logan York had a great chance to win this thing, and now Nathan Stapleton, who started second. Wait, was this that race? Oh no. Nathan Stapleton. Uh, well, he's out front. He's he's out front. He is our leader, and uh, if an, if a caution comes out, I'm gonna be baffled. I'm genuinely just, I give up. <laughs> like, we have cars perpetually pinning for no reason at all. Um, and they're still pitting. Like, literally, that's all of they, that's all they've done since pit stops have started. I don't know why that's a glitch, I don't know why it exists, but it does. And it's annoying. Let's see if these guys can break the cycle. Oh dear lord. Oh, they have! They have broken the cycle. I wonder if it's them coming in to fix stuff, but there are multiple laps down. Like, insane amounts. Uh, not insane amounts, but uh, I guess insane would be uh, 40 or 33 laps down, but he's not really in contention anymore. Leaving the race fairly early on in an incident uh, that did not bring up the caution. Nathan Stapleton just gonna hold on just for a few more laps here. And uh, Lauren Martinez, Jonathan Gutierrez, Corey LaJoy, and Zachary Fitzwater Sr. The top five in Hay. And we're gonna enjoy it. Logan York quite far back here behind three lapped cars. In fact, uh, so Matt Oskin here. Again, the driver that started on the pole, uh, the last driver a lap down. Or the first driver a lap down at the moment, so. There is that, but uh, all eyes on Nathan Stapleton looking to get a win here for the veteran team with Lauren Martinez. I would split the races. Two races uh, for veterans and uh, two races for the rookies. I don't know, some of these veterans, some of the veterans have had really consistent finishes. But uh, if you win, you're uh, pretty much in. So at the end of the season, we'll uh, tally up. Uh, we'll, we'll find all the winners, get them to their respective uh, positions. And then we will go off the points. So we'll have 16 drivers. Inner, you know how this works. Uh, come in town. Sorry, uh, two laps to go. This time by. Um, like Fitzwater making his way into fourth, trying to get into third there. But yeah, no, we'll, we'll have the 16 drivers, and then we will go from there. We'll have the full. Yeah. We'll have the full six or ten race uh, playoffs, and then. Uh, as we come up on more lap traffic, Stapleton just a little bit, a little bit slowed. I'm gonna slow down. That's uh. Uh oh. Moses Bird causing a lot of problems here. Usually lap traffic doesn't cause this much or this many problems, but uh, Bird extremely slow and causing people to die to get into that position. Uh, to able well, to get around him really. And, uh, definitely not the way I wanted this to go is Lauren Martinez. Let's take...
take another look at that. I can't believe I missed that on accident. We'll watch the entire final lap and see how it unfolds. As it should have been. Um. Wow. Okay, so here they are. I was focused on lap traffic. Whatever. White flag is out. Lauren Martinez gets under the 14. Gets a pretty good run, in fact, under the 14. Zachary Fitzwater coming down to help her. Now we've got three veterans. One, two, three at this point. A fantastic run by by Martinez. They're off of the turn. And a drag race to the finish. Stapleton, all day, that high side, have been getting fantastic runs. Especially coming to the line in the final lap. One hundredth. Sorry. Yeah, no, one hundredth of a second. Insane. Eight hundredth of a second uh, for that nine car. Veterans finish one, two, three here at Texas, my home track. Only eight cars finished on the lead lap here today. Definitely not, uh, definitely could have been better, obviously. Um, for some reason, they got into some weird cycle of pitting back to back to back to back and just kind of ruined it for themselves, but, uh, at some point they broke it, uh, but yeah, no, those eight drivers, again, congratulations, Lauren Martinez, and we've got Nathan Stapleton, uh, Zachary Fitzwater Sr., Jonathan Gutierrez, and Logan York rounding out the top five. In fact, five veterans finished in the top five. Jonathan Gutierrez is the only rookie, and wow, we only had three rookies finish within the top ten. That's insane. Randy Mayhew, Hutt Mayfield... Those other two rookies, 6th, 7th, and then Corey LaJoy, Samet Oskin, and Derek Hamill. Still a top 10, especially with how this race went. Definitely, definitely going to appreciate that. Um, but there's the rest of your top 28. Justine O'Neill pulling out a 27th place finish there. Watson uh, just above her in 26th. Usman Hamid, Noel Tucker. Uh, Daisy Morgan finished in 15th. McMillan, last race winner, finishing in 12th. As uh, we look down here, we only had four cars not finish. That being Will Parrish, Jesse Turner, Dylan Ibrahimian, and, and da uh, Damian Singletary. And got a feel for Jesse Turner. He has not had the season that, well, he wants. Um, just... Wrecking out in the Daytona 500, uh, wrecking out in a couple other races, I do believe. So, looking to have a bounce back race, same with O'Neill. Quite a few drivers, actually. I believe Ibrahimian, also one of those drivers that's looking for a, uh, a bounce back race. But uh, there's still plenty of races left. 28 races uh, in this season, so definitely not a problem in race, or at least season length to get caught back up, but uh, as we keep chugging along, it's going to get a lot harder the further we get into it. But uh, congratulations, Lauren Martinez, the, uh, it's kind of interesting, Josephine O'Neill was the first driver, first female driver to win, actually, was a veteran as well, Lauren Martinez, the second female driver to win, also a veteran. Hmm, we'll have to keep track here of the female veteran drivers. Um... I guess they're the only two female veteran drivers we have in the field. Just making sure. Uh, I know that we do have a Daisy Morgan, but she's not a veteran. I believe she's the last. Madison Tall. Madison Tall. <laughs> I bet some of you are already thinking, uh, Madison Tall, am I a joke to you? No. Uh, Madison Tall does, uh, could have a chance. We'll have to watch her. Uh, Daisy Morgan will watch as well. Uh, female drivers coming in big to start the season. Two of them have already won. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> thank you so very much for watching. Uh, next week, uh, let me give you the rundown for next week. Uh, on Monday, let's see, I have to pull it up. So on Monday, uh, this series, we will be at the... 
we will be at Bristol, and then on Tuesday for the Pilot Pro Series, we will, um, sorry, I'm, I forget that I'm behind, or that the Pilot Pro Series runs two a week, not three, so I was like, wait, what? So, we will be at Bristol next week, and, uh, we will, we'll actually, we'll be at Bristol. Huh. So we'll be at Bristol Monday, and then Bristol Tuesday. That's, I did not plan for that. That's not how I thought that was going to work at all. Because uh, the way, the original way the schedule was built, uh, Daytona, Daytona, California, Las Vegas, um, and then Las Vegas to end the season, to end the week, the first week, and then it was supposed to start out Texas, Richmond, Bristol. I guess it was going to work out like this anyway. Uh, so yeah, no, we will be going to Bristol on Monday for the first race of that week, and then we will be at Bristol on Tuesday for the uh, fourth race in the uh, Pilot Pro Series, and then the uh, sixth race in the SESO on Wednesday will be at Richmond, and then we will be going to Texas for the uh, fifth race in the Pilot Pro Series, and that will end their racing for the week, and then the actual end of the week will be at Talladega uh, with this series. So uh, we got some short track racing, some mid track racing, and then uh, some Talladega coming up. So looking forward to it. We're actually closing in on after next week. We only have a couple more races before the, I guess Pocono we can count as the midpoint of the season. But um, yeah, definitely going to be interesting racing going forward. And uh can't wait, uh, can't wait to get there. So I want to thank you so very much for watching and joining me here today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Congratulations, Lauren Martinez, grabbing uh, your first one of the season, making it into the uh, round of 16, or I guess the, the chase. Um, if we have more than 16 different drivers, which possibly could happen, um, we will we'll figure something out. I guess we'll have to, I guess, yeah, I guess this is why I'm kind of doing it in points. We'll pick the high, the, the top, if, if 16 different driver, or if more than 16 different drivers win, say we had a different driver uh, win each and every race, then uh, I would pick the top 16 in points that have won. Um, I think that's only fair. Um, you know. These teams are working their butts off getting consistent finishes to finish up top. Um, so, I guess you technically are not in until completely until the end of the season. And this isn't like real life NASCAR where we know for a fact that we're going to have a lot of repeat winners because. Every car is the same, and honestly, it's it's a toss-up to, for who's going to win in this series, in any series that we run, on any channel. Now, there are a couple, uh, you know, I'll spare you, uh, I'm going to think about a couple ideas for a series after um, the series, the all of these are said and done, so I'm going to have a couple test series run, and then um, go from there, so... Before we get to the main series and after uh, I'm done with these series, uh, I'm going to run two test series um, and I'll, I'll, I'll work those out. But as for now, I want to thank you all so very much for watching and I will see you all on Monday for the Bristol race. Here, so we're going to have Bristol, Bristol, and we'll go from there. So thank you for watching. See you on Monday.